And uh, so nice to meet you, everyone. I'm Matteo. I am an Italian guy. Maybe you can hear uh, from my strong accent. And uh, I work in the Truffle uh, world. Um, in, uh, I do many things uh, in this world of truffles. I grew up in a family uh, who uh, made this business. Uh, my father uh, is a truffle hunter like me. My grandfather was a truffle hunter. My great grandfather, was, it was the first one in our family to be a truffle hunter. So it's a kind, uh, a it's a tradition in our family. Uh, it's a big passion. Uh, for first, it's a big passion. It's uh, my biggest passion in the life is going to the forest and uh, finding truffles and mushrooms. So I even, I even love uh, a lot the, the mushrooms, every type of mushroom, and I know very well the, the mushroom. Then uh, every component of my family, so my father, my grandfather, they did this uh, activity as a second job, as a patient and the second job. They went out every day in their free time to find truffles and then they sold in their free time. A uh, few years ago, like 10 years ago, 10 years ago, I decided to make only this in my life because uh, it was my biggest passion. I want to spend uh, the um, biggest part of my time in the forest because I love nature, I love being with the dogs. And so I decided to quit my job and do only this uh, in my life. And then uh, my work, uh, fortunately, Matteo, you went on mute. Matteo, you went on mute. We don't hear you anymore. Do you hear me? Okay, perfect. So I doing this. I took this decision, and then I started to to open. Uh, I opened my own company. So I started to to make a business with truffle, to buy truffle uh, from other truffle hunters, to resell to other uh, restaurants, to private um, customers. Then I started to ship everywhere in the world. So I made a lot of experience in this world. But for first, I'm uh, originally I'm a hunter and I, I'm still a hunter. I go every time, every free time I have, I go into the forest with my, with my dogs to find the truffles. And, uh, and then I work uh, three, 360 degrees uh, in the, this world. I organize uh, events about truffle where people can uh, learning about uh, how to eat truffle, how to recognize uh, uh, good quality, how to combine the truffle in the, in the right foods, how to process, process the truffles. So everything about this. Now I will make a small introduction uh, just to let you know what is uh, truffle um, in, the, in simple uh, words. So maybe every one of you knows already, but many people don't know. So the truffle is, uh, is a mushroom and uh, I think mostly of you know this, but many people, uh, for example, even in Italy, they believe it's a kind of potato table because it grows under the soil. And so many people, they believe it's a kind of bed, a kind of cut, you know, is uh, something like that, but it's, uh, it's a mushroom. And it is a symbiotic mushroom. So symbiotic mushroom, what it means? Symbiotic mushroom is the mushroom that uh, live always in relationship with the tree. So there is a connection between the truffle and the tree. So uh, how do uh, do we find truffles uh, for finding the truffles for first uh, we need uh, the right uh, environment the right uh, the right spot so we find truffle always in the forest because the truffles live connected to the tree so we need the right tree to find the truffles and uh, of course most of the time uh, we find in the forest because uh, we need trees and um, the right environment for truffles is um, the, the right combination between uh, 
uh, different factors. So the most important is the type of the tree. The type of the tree, um, if there is that certain type of tree, we know we can find a certain type of truffle. Then the, the tree is not enough because uh, the tree has to grow on the right soil. So if there is the combination of the right soil, the right tree and the right age of the forest, because even the age of the forest is very important for finding truffles, that, that forest could be a potential, a good potential spot. And then for uh, finding the truffle, we need to go with our dogs. Hello. And uh, only with the dogs that we can verify if uh, the truffles grow for mm -hmm. In uh, that spot, or uh, or not, because it's possible the forest has all the characteristics good for truffles, and then there isn't a good production of truffles, so it's not worth going there for hunting truffles. And um, so, what else? Uh, for example, I I say you some good tree for truffle, uh, the most common tree which produce truffles. The most common trees which produce truffles are very common trees so you can find everywhere for sure if you are from uh, us if you are from england uh, you have uh, those kind of trees there and maybe you have truffles even in your region in your place but maybe sometimes people don't know just because there isn't the tradition of uh, the truffle hunting and because it's a product you cannot see you need the you need the dog you need an animal uh, who discovered the truffle uh, with the, the smell so, uh, the right trees for truffle are uh, oak trees, uh, that is very common, it's everywhere, beech tree, poplar tree, hazelnut tree, and uh, some, some type of pine tree. So, common trees are good for truffles. It doesn't mean that truffles grow everywhere and are easy to find. Uh, but, for sure, the truffles grow in uh, in many many forests where people don't know that the, there are truffles. Uh, I, I I talk about uh, out of Italy. In Italy, there is a, a very old tradition. There is there are a lot of hunters. We have uh, is a, a known product. But um, for example, in the in the last years. Um, with uh, the help of the, the internet, uh, the social media, it's easier to figure out how to find the truffle, how to find, uh, to, to discover a good uh, environment, how to train a dog. So people are starting to find truffle in many places in the world where before nobody expected that there were, there were, there were truffles. And uh, so it's truffle. we can say that the truffle is can be a common mushroom. If there are that certain characteristic, you can find the, the truffle. The other very important characteristic is the quality of the soil. <laughs> the soil has to be alkaline. So uh, generally uh, we recognize the alkaline soil from the, the kind of stone, the kind of uh, rocks you find uh, in, uh, in the forest. Uh, generally, the, where we find truffles uh, is always very, very rocky and, um, and it's always full of rocks and there are mostly uh, limestone. It means the, the soil is alkaline. Then we have different types of truffles. So every, most of the truffles, almost all the truffles, they prefer alkaline soil, but then there, are, there is certain truffle want a very, very, very alkaline soil, and then there are certain type of truffle, they are more adaptable, so you can find them even if the soil is a little bit acidic. Uh, there are many, many types of truffle. The truffle are, are, are a family of mushrooms, so the, the mycologists, the people who study the mushroom, they discovered more than 100 types of truffles, but the truffles, uh, um, the important truffles, so the truffle, uh, we we use in the business uh, we sell uh, with expensive prices are uh, about five there are, we can say that there are five principal types of truffles and um, every type is a little bit different they can be even very similar to each other but for sure every type grow in different period and every type has a different price so, um, and uh, you can recognize every time uh, by the smell, by the taste, but sometimes they are, they are so similar and so very, very hard uh, to recognize uh, 
if uh, you are not uh, very expert about truffle or if you don't know all the types and you don't have the comparison. Uh, three types uh, of um, between these uh, five types, three are black and uh, two are white. So I want to show you with the this um, screen sharing. I want to show you the different types. Just a moment. Okay, can you see? Yes. Okay, we can start from this one. Okay, this one is the most common truffle, is the summer truffle. In English, generally, we call the truffles with the name of the season. So this is the summer truffle because this truffle grow in the summertime. Uh, generally, we start to find this truffle in May and uh, the season end in September. Um, it's the most common truffles because it's the easy, easiest to find. So it's even the cheapest truffles because <laughs> the price of the truffles is always based on the production and the demand. The price of the truffle is not based on the quality. Mm, mm, uh, and, 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 very ex and super expensive truffle is not better in the in taste or in smell than a cheap truffle. Is uh, the, the the taste is subjective. Uh, the the price is different just because the rarity of the truffle. The summer truffle is the easiest to find. In the it even it grows in a period during the summer where there is a low demand of truffles. So that's why it's the cheapest one. And the price in Italy is around 100 euro per kilogram. Then of course, if you buy it out of Italy, uh, for sure it's two, three times more. And then we have, when we go on in um, with the season, we have uh, this one. This one is super similar, so almost impossible to recognize, uh, but just um, why it's super similar? Because um, the skin is black, like the summer truffle, and um, even uh, these, uh, you know, the, the black truffles are always bumpy, and um, the, this is very bumpy, like the summer truffle. And um, the color inside is brown, and the summer truffle is the uh, same color outside and inside. So just uh, we recognize that is a different species because it grows in a different period. It grows uh, when the summer truffle ends. So it starts to grow in October and finish to grow in, uh, at the end of December. That's why we call this truffle black autumn truffle. The taste uh, and the smell is very similar to the summer truffle, but is just more intense. So we consider it, this truffle is a little, a little bit better. Even this truffle is more expensive because it grows in a period with high demand of truffle because the highest demand of truffle in Italy, but I think more or less everywhere in the world is the, in the autumn and winter time, mostly October, November, December, till the new year. There is the pike of the demand in, uh, in um, Christmas time and um, the, the, during the Christmas holiday. And so in that period, there are even the, the most expensive prices of truffles. This truffle more or less cost around 300 euro in Italy, this truffle per kilograms. Then we have at the same, in the same period of this truffle, we have this one, this is the white truffle. This is the white truffle. It grows in the same period of the black bottom truffle. So it starts to grow in October and it, the season end at the end of December. And uh, this is the most expensive one. The price uh, can be very variable because uh, the price of this white truffle change a lot based on the production. So in a bad season, it can be a little bit cheaper. In a very, very, sorry, in, the bad se in a bad season with low production can be very, very expensive. In a, very good season with, with uh, in a season with high production, it can be a little bit cheaper. 
Um, the, the price changed a lot, even based on the size of every single truffle, but it happened only for white truffle. Generally for the other truffle, the price change based on the average size. In a kilo, the average size make the difference in the price. But in the, the white truffle being so, as, a, the, as the white truffle is so expensive, every we, we weigh every single truffle. And so, and the price change based on the size of every single truffle. So the more, the, the more is big, the more is expensive. And not only the size is important in the white truffle, but even the, the shape. So if the truffle is, um, has a very, is a, has a very nice shape, a uh, very good look, like uh, is a kind of ball, is a perfect, uh, um, like a perfect ball is more expensive. Is the shape of the truffle is uh, weird, like uh, I don't know, like uh, a rude, like um, mm, not regular shape. Uh, the price is more is cheaper, and uh, the price of the white truffle can be so variable. So in a very good season, uh, for an average size, we can uh, have the price of in Italy of 1,500 euro per kilogram. In a bad season, uh, the, for the same uh, selection, you can pay six, seven, eight, eight thousand euro per kilograms. So is uh, is the most expensive one. And I don't know, maybe, maybe you know, this is just a curiosity, but it's nice to know that uh, every year in Italy, they find uh, the biggest truffle of the season. Generally, it's always a truffle um, which the weight is over one kilo. So it's a truffle like a big as a soccer ball like this. And uh, so it's an exceptional size. And um, so what they do, the big companies buy immediately uh, this truffle by the hunter, and then they resell to the auction. And every year they sell at the end to the final customer uh, these exceptional sides of truffle uh, for uh, uh, more than uh, 200,000 euro or 300,000 euro every time uh, is so expensive. But this is um, the, the crazy world of the white truffle. And then we have in uh, after the season of the white truffle, so you know, after the autumn, we arrive to the winter and we have this truffle. This is uh, the black winter truffle. Black winter truffle is uh, even uh, known uh, in the world as Perigot. In France, they call Perigot, it's the famous uh, French truffles. And uh, in Italiano, we call Nero Breggiado. It means uh, kind of uh, precious black because it's the most uh, uh, expensive black truffle. It's, um, it's easier to recognize uh, from the summer and the, the black autumn truffle because uh, the skin of this black truffle is bumpy, but it's uh, more smooth. And uh, inside the color is uh, totally is totally black. There are always this kind of line inside the truffle. You, I, I think you know, is uh, never uh, only one color. Is uh, there are always this kind? Is, there is this kind of labyrinth in the truffle, but uh, is always white and another color. And uh, this one is white and black. Is the only one inside white and black. The other two black truffle inside are brown. The white truffle inside are, uh, they have um, this line, but are a little bit um, uh, like pink. Okay. And then so uh, this truffle, the average price is about uh, 1000 euro per kilograms. So it's just a little bit cheaper than the white truffle. And then we have uh, in springtime, before the summer uh, truffle, we have the spring white truffle. So spring white truffle is another type of white truffle. Many people don't know this truffle, even in Italy. I think because it grows in a period with, uh, with low demand of truffle, because generally the demand is high and, uh, till uh, Christmas time, and then the demand go down after the holidays. And uh, these truffles start to grow about the, the end of the January, and it finished to grow in April. 
and um, but it is, is a very very good truffle the price is not uh, expensive because um, um, generally there is a high production of this truffle so it's, um, it's quite easy to find and um, very similar to white truffle you can see the color is a little a little bit different because it's, uh, it's white but sometimes is a little bit red you can see and uh, what else uh, the, the, the sides this truffle in italiano is called bianchetto bianchetto means uh, the small white why we call bianchetto because the average size of this truffle is always small uh, very very rare that this truffle is bigger than a walnut the average size is like this maybe that's why people uh, is not so used in the restaurant because it's very annoying to clean to wash and uh, so it's not so beautiful to show because it's so small but the taste uh, is so so good and uh, even the price is not so expensive it's around three four hundred euro per kilogram and so it's one of the cheapest truffle but for me it's the best truffle with a good balance price and quality it's so good um, so these are the five principal types of truffle you can find uh, in the restaurant, you can find in the shops, uh, you can uh, easily buy. Uh, these are the, the principal types. Um, what, uh, what else? Okay, I stop the sharing, screen sharing. So we can, we can say, Okay, we can, we can say that we find truffle all year round. Uh, we never stop with truffle. Uh, just for sure uh, there are uh, better period and worse period, but we cannot say which is the best period for truffle. There is uh, generally there is the best month for each type. But, um, but uh, every year is different because uh, the truffles are so related to the weather condition. Um, so generally we find truffle all year around. The problems, uh, the, the, um, the most common problems uh, could, could be or the drought in the summer if it is too dry during July and August, maybe September uh, is not so good for finding truffles. Or, for example, in the winter time, especially in December, January, the black truffles grow in a high elevation. So sometimes uh, there, is, there is a lot of snow and um, is um, almost in, it's becoming completely impossible finding truffle because if there is too much snow in the forest, uh, we cannot walk in the forest. The dogs cannot walk because they can feel truffles under the snow. They have not any problem to feel truffles under the snow, but uh, you can understand if there is one meter of snow, two meters of snow, we cannot walk in the forest. And uh, the truffles grow in very high elevation in Italy in that period, uh, over uh, 1,000 meters, uh, over uh, 1,000, even 1,600, 700 meters of elevation in the beech tree forest. So, guys, I made a big introduction. I talked a lot already. Uh, so I am curious to know if you have some question. Um, I'm here, so I wait uh, some second if someone of you have some question. I have a question. Okay. Um, so what's the difference of hunting with pigs or with dogs? Okay, that's a good question. Uh, it's a good question because, yes, many people believe that we find truffle even with pigs, and that this is true, but it's not true anymore because uh, now nobody in Italy finds truffles with pigs anymore, or may maybe there is some, but uh, we are not allowed to find truffle with pigs. And I now, I now explain you why. Um, we have a law. Uh, about truffles in Italy. We have a lot of rules because uh, it's an important Italian product, it's an expensive product, so they had to make a law to preserve the truffle growth. And uh, the law is just many rules that you have to learn um, and then you have to respect. 
Um, so we need the license and the license uh, is uh, for professional hunters or for uh, hunters just as they do it just as an hobby. And, uh, but the difference in these two licenses is just um, about the price of the license. And um, the license is just we, have, we need to pass an exam. This exam is, uh, um, is just about the rules. So, so we have to study all the rules about the, the, the truffle hunting because and then we, we, we need to pass this exam. They, have to, they want to verify we know all the rules about truffle hunting and then because we, need, we must respect these rules um, which are made for the, uh, for the protection of this product. And um, so one of the rule, um, one of the most important rule is that we can, we are allowed to find truffle only with dogs. Um, so pigs are forbidden, but uh, actually we could find truffle even in uh, not every type of truffle, but we, are, we could uh, find some certain type of truffle even without dogs. Uh, so I explain you why pigs are forbidden. Um, so uh, the dog for sure is the best way for finding the truffle. Why? Because uh, so uh, the tree has the spore of the truffle in the root, will produce every year in the same period the same type of truffle. So when the tr a tree produces uh, the truffle, it's like uh, it's producing fruits. So if it, pr it produces generally more truffles. When you go with the dog and the dog find uh, a truffle under that tree, for sure uh, in the same spot, in the same area, there are more truffles. Just the dog, if the dog finds only one, is because only one is smelling. And the truffle start to smell only uh, one time it get ripe. So um, what happened? That uh, there are even a period during the year, uh, even moment when uh, if you find one truffle and you start to dig around the truffle, you can find a lot of truffles. Sometimes even one, two, three kilos in a meter square. It's like this. Generally not with white truffle, but for uh, with black summer truffle, with black truffle, this is possible. And what happened if you if you pick uh, if you start to dig around and uh, and the dog didn't find those truffles it's because those truffles has not any smell and has not any uh, they have not any smell and they have not any taste. So this is forbidden because um, sorry. It's forbidden digging around, so you can you are allowed to pick only the truffle uh, which the dog found, and uh, even the, the the pigs are forbidden because uh, they find the truffles because they eat truffles in their instinct they eat truffles. It's a, a normal product in their diet, so um, they don't need training. The dog need. A training otherwise they don't find truffle the big the advantage with pig is that they don't need training but what they do when they find one truffle they don't stop on that truffle they start to dig everywhere they start to dig around and then they dig out all the truffles the truffles not ripe and then they destroy everything in the truffle spot because they want eating so they start to dig everywhere and they ruin the spot why because the truffle is connected to the tree to the mycelium. The mycelium is a kind of a net of invisible roots which connect the truffle to the tree. It's important to preserve this mycelium, this uh, kind of net. Uh, so if you start every time you find the truffle, you start to dig around with the tool. We have a tool we use uh, for the truffle hunting for helping the dog to dig if there are stone, if there is if the soil is too hard. So if, to, if every time we find the truffle, we start to dig around, we can find more truffle, but we will find truffle not tasty, without any smell, and we will break all these uh, tiny roots. So, and we can ruin the production of that spot. That's why pigs are forbidden, because pigs uh, uh, um, dig around and they, they find truffles not ripe and they ruin the spot. This is um, the reason. Also, there is another re important reason that uh, the um, truffle, if the truffle, uh, the truffle smell when get ripe. And 
If the truffle doesn't get ripe, the truffle doesn't spread the spore for the next production. So for the reproduction. So if you pick the truffle from the soil before it gets ripe, it means that uh, the truffle didn't uh, uh, spread yet the spore. And so um, it's not good because the spores are so important. The truffle has to get ripe because it has to spread the spore for the reproduction. So that's why pigs uh, are forbidden and it's forbidden finding truffle without the dog. With the dog, you are sure 100% when you find the truffle, the truffle is ripe and you are sure 100% then the truffle is tasty and it has a smell. Okay, I, I read some question. Okay, sorry, there are a lot of questions and I didn't notice. I start to the first one. Allora. Allora, okay, I see this question. How do you clean and store the truffles? Um, so, uh, for um, washing the truffles, we make a difference. We wash the truffles, every truffle, in the same way beside the white truffle. So, every truffle, especially the black truffles, they are very resistant, the skin is very hard, so you can uh, easily brush under the water. Uh, so, under the sink, you just brush the truffle like this and you can even uh, do strong because you don't ruin the truffles. They are very, very hard and strong, the skin of the black truffles. Uh, for storing the truffles, the best way is putting the truffle inside uh, the paper you use in the kitchen or inside the cotton towel. towel. And, um, and then you put in a plastic box, in a glass, uh, in, a glass in, a, in a jar, and then you can store like that in fridge. What happened? That the truffles are full of water because they are mushrooms. So they will, they will release water every day. So when you go to check every day the truffle in the box, uh, you will find the paper or the towel uh, wet, humid. Um, so the best way for preserving longer the truffle is uh, replace every day the paper or the towel. So keep the truffle in the dry paper or in the dry towel and, uh, and dry the box and dry the box. If you keep the truffle in this way, you take care of the truffle, of the truffle every day. You change the paper, you change the towel, they will uh, last a long time. Even uh, you can preserve a truffle in fridge even 20, 30 days. After that, if you want to preserve longer, uh, you can wash, you can uh, wash, dry the truffle and uh, put in freezer. Uh, it's important when you preserve the fresh truffles, it's better if you preserve with the ground, with the soil around. The ground, the soil uh, help the truffle uh, to get preserved. And uh, the white truffle is a little bit different because they are so expensive, so we don't brush under the water, we risk to ruin. Even the skin of white truffle is a little bit uh, softer and is, um, you can ruin easily. So what we do with, uh, with a humid towel, slowly, slowly, uh, we go to clean all the dust uh, just with a humid towel uh, everywhere. It's, it takes a long time, but at least in this way we don't... Uh, uh, we don't risk to ruin the truffle. So, um, the second question, how do you preserve the truffle? How long do they last? I already answered to this. What breed of dogs is the one specialized in finding truffle? So, uh, about the dogs, every breed can be good for truffle hunting. Every dog has the good smell and uh, the good nose for finding the truffle. And every dog could be good uh, to train, to be trained. Uh, then for sure, we always use same breed for, uh, for, uh, for a reason, because, uh, not because the dog is better or the dog ha has uh, uh, more smell or uh, um, something like this. People believe uh, we use certain breed because they have the most powerful nose, but it's not like this. 
Um, it's because uh, when we started the truffle hunting in Italy so many, many years ago, like 150 years ago, uh, they started to select uh, breeds for this uh, kind of work. And they figured out that there were certain breeds that uh, were uh, better, just not because the nose, but because the character. The very important thing for the, about the dog is that the dog has not to love too much the animal hunting because if you go to, uh, to the forest with a dog who loves so much the animal hunting, uh, the dog for sure will get distracted and um, a good truffle dog is the dog who put the focus on the truffle all time and who, uh, the dog has to love that work. So if the dog loves the truffle, he, he, he will find a lot of truffle. And uh, what else? Uh, so the most common breed is Lagotto Romagnolo. In English, they call Italian water dog. And if you write on Google, uh, you for then after I show you photos about this dog, uh, you, you write truffle dog, you find immediately Italian water dog. It's the most common uh, breed used for truffle hunting. Then we use many, many kinds of dogs, but uh, this is the official truffle dog. How long they last when you cut them? And the, okay, you, you don't need to, to cut the truffle, but a truffle, uh, the truffle, uh, the, a cut truffle or a, or a whole truffle, they last uh, to the same, uh, the same time. Maybe if the truffle is um, completely whole, when it's not cut, it, maybe it lasts a little bit more because it's, pro it's protected by the skin, but uh, it doesn't change a lot. Um, and then also it's true that every truffle, when maybe you buy one kilo or maybe 100 grams, there are 10 truffles, not all 10 truffles will last at uh, the same time because maybe when you find truffles, it's possible that truffle the dog found was already uh, three weeks under the soil or was uh, one week. So you don't know how old is the truffle when you find. So it's, uh, when uh, you find 10 truffles, maybe five truffles will expire in uh, 20 days and uh, five truffles will expire in 30 days. Or uh, maybe one truffle will expire after uh, one week. So we have just to check the truffle. And when you store the truffle and you take care of them, every day you can press a little bit, smell. If the smell is fresh, if the smell is good, uh, it means the truffle is good. But if they start to become a little bit soft, uh, it means the truffle is expiring. So you need to use, you need to eat, or you can um, wash, dry, and put in freezer. Tuber melanosporus is, in, is the summer truffle. No, Tuber melanosporum is the black winter truffle. Is the truffle, uh, the most expensive black truffle is the truffle growing winter time. Is the truffle they call in French Perigot. Every truffle has the Latin name, has, has any, every mushroom, every plant. Uh, the scientific name is in Latin. And so for not get confused about the species we are going to eat, we are going to buy, it's good to always to read the Latin name. So Tuber melanosporum is the black winter truffle. Okay, uh, the best way for sure is subjective, the best way to eat truffles. Um, for sure, if, when we are going to eat truffle, we, we won't enjoy the taste of the truffle. So, uh, I think the simple dishes are the best. We need to combine the truffle always with mm, food with neutral taste, because the truffle, the real taste of the truffle is uh, a soft taste is uh, is not aggressive. That aggressive uh, taste we are used to feel sometimes when we go to eat in the restaurant, when we buy truffle products, is not the real taste of the truffle, but is the taste of the chemical aroma, and uh, that uh, they make in different ways. And so it's a concentrated. That's why it's so strong. But the real truffle, every type of truffle, is never aggressive. So we need always to combine with uh, food with neutral taste. So the best way is pasta, maybe tagliolini, every type of pasta can be good. 
uh, for example, the, the most classical dish maybe in Italy, one of the most classical dish with truffle is the simple fry egg with the truffle on the top. And this is a, one of the best way for enjoying the taste of the truffle. Even uh, fresh cheese are very good with truffle. So burrata, uh, mozzarella di bufala, uh, all this stuff are very good in combination with truffle. Uh, you have to even pizza, for example. The important you, uh, is that you use ingredients with uh, neutral taste, very, very uh, soft taste. And um, do you export to Switzerland? Is it possible to purchase truffle directly from you? Of course, I export almost everywhere in the world. And Switzerland is very easy because you can get the truffles in uh, 24 hours. And uh, so, of course, and uh, I think uh, uh, you can read my private contacts. And if you're interested in buying truffle, you can uh, write me and I can ship everywhere. Okay, the most uh, famous areas in Italy for finding the truffles uh, Allora, I think the most famous area is Piemont. The, everyone, when we talk about truffle, white truffle, they know about uh, the truffle of Alba. Uh, so about Piemont, but uh, um, it's not the best area. I, 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 actually, I think it's one of the worst area for white truffle. It's not one of the worst, but uh, uh, for sure, the, the highest production of truffle uh, in Italy is in the center of Italy. The highest production of white truffle is in Molise. Molise is a, is a very unknown region in Italy, it's just south of Abruzzo. Uh, even Abruzzo is very good, but even Lazio, even Toscan, even Umbria. Uh, then Umbria even is very famous for the black truffle. <clears throat> and, uh, and then there are, uh, like Molise, for example, is full of truffle. It may be the best region for truffle, but it's unknown. Mm, they were not good uh, to sell uh, their self. Uh, in uh, Piemont, they are so famous, and uh, I know this story, uh, that the first man who exported truffles to US and uh, he shipped to Marilyn Monroe was from Piemont, was from Alba. And so that's why from that uh, episode, then Alba became so famous for truffles, for white truffles in the world, uh, and so everyone uh, know that the best area for white truffle in Italy is Alba is Piemont, but it's not true. Actually, they have a very low production. They organize this festival, very long festival. It lasts like two months, three, two months, I think. And, um, and they sell uh, white truffle there at a so expensive price. But most of the truffle you buy in Alba, they buy from the south of Italy, the center, the south of Italy. And then they resell in Alba, putting the Alba brand on the truffle. And so you pay <laughs> three times more. Ah, the French one, in France, they are famous for the Perigot. They have only, mostly that truffle uh, they produce in, uh, in, cent in the south part of Spain, uh, sorry, of uh, French. And uh, so it's Tuber Melanosporum. They are famous for that truffle. So it doesn't change anything. That truffle in Italy we call uh, Nero Breggiato. In France, they call uh, Perigot. It's the same piece. If you find in Italy, you find in France, doesn't change anything. It's just they are, uh, they have uh, mostly the production of that type of truffle. Okay, the truffle, the price of the, the truffle in Italy at the moment, at the moment, for example, uh, we are in the season of the Black Autumn Truffle, the Latin name is Tuber Uncinadum, and uh, we are in the period of the White Truffle, so the most expensive one, that the Latin name is Tuber Magnatum. Uh, now the, the prices are around 300-400 euro per kilogram for Black Autumn Truffle, and uh, around two. 2,000, 2,500 euro per kilograms for white truffle. So a gram of white truffle is about 2.5, 2.50 uh, 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 euro for gram. Um, then, of course, uh, I don't know now uh, you, where are you from, but 
if you buy the white truffle in US, maybe in a store like Italy, or I don't know where they can sell, you don't pay less than six, seven, eight thousand dollars for the same selection. It's not in Italy, we have the cheapest price of truffles. Uh, so how do you prepare the truffle? Just cleaning it with water and it is ready to eat. Yes, yes. Uh, you just have to um, clean with water and it's important that you always use the truffle raw. You have never to cook the truffle. If you heat too much the truffle, the truffle lose the taste. And uh, so yes, uh, you can process the truffle a little bit. You can uh, prepare some kind of paste, some kind of sauce with other ingredients. Uh, you can warm a little bit the truffle. For example, you can uh, melt the butter or, uh, or, uh, war or heat a little bit the olive oil. And then without uh, any fire, we can uh, warm the truffle already grated and making a kind of sauce. So sometimes it's good if you warm a little bit the truffle. But otherwise, yes, the, the best, the truffle has to, we have to eat truffle raw. And uh, so the most important is com the, the, the food that you are going to combine with the truffle. For having a good dish, you have to combine the right uh, food. Yes, about fake truffles uh, is uh, fortunately the only one fake truffle is the Chinese truffle. That is uh, not a fake truffle, it's, uh, it's a truffle. It's, um, the, this, the Latin name is tuber indigum. So it's a kind of truffle they find in China, we don't find in, in Europe. And uh, in the beginning, so like five, six years ago, we had some problem because uh, we didn't know about this truffle and uh, who discovered this truffle and who <laughs> talked to cheat someone with this truffle, uh, um, figured out that this truffle was super similar to the tuber melanosporum, so to the, to the black winter truffle, the most expensive black uh, truffle. So it's very hard to recognize if you have a Chinese truffle, a black winter truffle, and you just see the truffle is so hard to recognize. They are almost identical. Just uh, for sure, the, the, the taste and the smell is totally different. And uh, so at the beginning, they were able to cheat people not expert uh, and uh, people who were, were not able to recognize uh, a good truffle. But now everyone here at least uh, learned so about this truffle from China. So it's not uh, a problem anymore here in Italy. Then for sure, people who try to cheat uh, other people uh, that are always in the world. So it's better to be careful and to know what uh, you are going to buy. Uh, how old is the Okay, so for uh, the, this is a question about the truffle production, the truffle farming. Uh, there, there, is certs, there are certain type of truffle you can grow. Uh, you cannot grow directly the truffle, you have to plant, uh, if you have your own land with the right soil, with the right pH of the soil, you can, you can, um, you can uh, buy uh, these, uh, these uh, small trees, like small oaks, small hazelnut, where they inoculate in the lab the spore of the truffle in the root. So that tree, if the tree will grow on the right soil, uh, should produce truffle in the future when the tree will become uh, adult, old. Because the, tr the tree doesn't produce truffle before then uh, five, six, seven years. It depends on the type of the tree, it depends on the type of the soil, the exposition, many factors, but never before then five years. So the question is uh, how old the tree start to produce the truffle and uh, is uh, the average is six, seven years for the first truffles. How can you tell if the truffle the restaurant real or fake? Um, yeah, for recognizing, uh, for this, it's, it's not so easy because there are restaurants so <laughs> good to put the aroma, you know what they do, most of, allora, when you go to the restaurant and you see the, the truffle is a kind of cream, kind of just a paste for sure is uh, is not uh, the real truffle yeah maybe there is some truffle inside but it's a paste it's uh, made with the aroma with other mushroom it's not the real fresh truffle 
and um, and um, if uh, but what they do sometimes they use even very good quality of truffle but then they put uh, some aroma to improve the taste of the dish it's easier for them or sometimes what they do they put the aroma and then they shape just use lies so they save money but the, the, the dish has a very intense taste so um, just uh, for recognizing that you if you go in uh, generally in very good restaurant they use the real truffle they shape the truffle in front of you so if they take the dish without any truffle and then they shape in front of you you can be sure the truffle is uh, is real because otherwise you would feel the smell even in the dish without the truffle so generally if they shape the truffle in front of you is the sign you can be sure they are uh, they are using the real truffle. Um, what else? Of course, then if you start to eat fresh truffle and you compare with the aroma, in uh, after some time, you can recognize very easily if they use the aroma or not. For sure, if you, if you see a dish of pasta with just few slices of truffle and, and it tastes so strong is because the aroma otherwise you have to put a lot of truffle uh, for uh, making a good uh, truffle dish at least 15 20 grams per dish the biggest truffle i found uh, the biggest was a uh, black autumn truffle and was 600 grams so truffle like this I found the biggest white truffle I ever found was uh, almost 400 grams. So yeah, I hope to find some uh, bigger one in my life. Uh, it's just, uh, that is just lagginess, you know? You have to, it's like win to the lottery. How can you the drama the rest of your favorite white truffle? This is a good question. You can freeze the white truffle. For sure, we generally we don't freeze white truffle because uh, has, uh, it is so expensive we try to sell and to eat uh, fresh. Um, generally, what we do, uh, I think this is because uh, gen Alora, the black truffle is very hard and very strong, so it's good to freeze. And then uh, when you defrost the truffle, you have not to defrost completely the truffle. You have just to wait some minute. The truffle become a little bit softer and then you can grate. And then you can even put again in freezer. So you don't defrost the truffle. You have never to defrost the truffle. Otherwise the truffle become um, like uh, so soft, melty. I don't know, it uh, lose the consistency. So why truffle is so delicate? So um, uh, it has not the right consistency to be frozen. So what do we do? If we want to save some white truffle, we grate the truffle, we, we melt the butter, we grate the truffle in the butter, then we freeze the butter with the truffle inside. When we, we need to use the truffle, we, we use uh, directly the butter for uh, giving the taste, uh, to, for mixing it with the pasta, with, the, the, with every type of uh, food. We have gone to refer in Belgium or Luxembourg or east of Northern France to conduct a search with dogs. Would you? Okay, the, the question is about, would, would you like um, learn how to find truffles in that area or would you like just joining to a truffle hunting? But uh, yeah, Alura, I don't have directly in that place, uh, I don't know people in that place who um, do truffle hunting or maybe to organize a truffle hunting uh, tour. I don't know this. I maybe I can, uh, if you write me in private, I can uh, try to get this information and I can uh, let you know. Can you grow truffle artificially? Is uh, I explained before. Uh, so you cannot grow directly the truffle, you can recreate the environment. It's not easy process at all because you need to have the right pH of the soil. You can plant the, the trees where they inoculate the spore of the truffle in the lab. Then uh, it took a long time, it takes a long time. So you have to wait uh, five, six, seven years. In, the, in those seven years, in, um, in these seven years, everything can happen, can uh, be too cold. And so many trees could die. 
uh, too much rain in a season, you know. So um, it depends, uh, it's even a lagginess uh, at the end of this process uh, to have a good production. But for sure, with the years, people, uh, people who are studying this process are becoming always more expert. So now, uh, many people who try to grow truffle, uh, they have a good result. Mostly of the truffle oil are made just, uh, can, can you say, chemically, chemical, it's, um, it's chemical, chemical. Uh, because uh, it's, it's possible to make a, a natural truffle oil, but uh, it's a long process, very expensive, nobody make, because it's, uh, and even the result is very, very light, for sure it's good, but it's not worth to, to make and selling. So all the truffle oil you find, uh, you can read on the label. Uh, for sure, is written uh, there is written aroma. It means is the, the the chemical aroma. They generally they can uh, get this aroma in uh, two ways, uh, or from uh, by the benzene or by the cabbage. Uh, the by the cabbage is, uh, is we can uh, say that is more natural but uh, but it's artificial and uh, so there are even uh, for sure better and worse aroma uh, you can find uh, but um, I, almost 99 percent of truffle oils are made with uh, the artificial aroma Some good restaurant. Allora, I, I recommend you if you come to Rome. Uh, I think the best one. Uh, they have uh, always a very very good quality. They they care a lot about the quality. They work. They don't use, of course, any type of aroma. Uh, it's uh, Osteria Barberini. Even the price is uh, it's an expensive restaurant because, of course, they use black uh, winter truffle, white truffle, every type of truffle, but, uh, but it's, uh, it's not so expensive uh, um, for the quality they offer. Uh, it's Osteria Barberini, I can, uh, I can write maybe. I don't know if it works. Okay, you can contact me privately and I answer everyone. Uh, most of the truffle I use for the cooking. So, and even I recommend you to go to Umbria, Umbria, the region. If you go to Umbria, the region, almost everywhere, they, they have a high tradition of truffles there. So they don't use aroma because people are very expert about truffles and they don't use any aroma. So if you go to Umbria, you eat good truffles almost everywhere. 200 skip there, three root cigarette. Yeah, of course, uh, we are very... Um, we are very jealous about uh, this work. We don't share spot with anyone, even with very good friends, not even with very good friends. I think my father uh, shared the spot only with me, and maybe I will do with my son. And uh, yeah, of course, it's a kind of, I think the beautiful side of this world uh, uh, is because it's so, it's not easy to start, it's not easy to learn. You need someone who teach you, otherwise it's very hard. And uh, you need a lot of patience to discover the spot, to train the dog, to work a lot in the forest for finding. And um, so, yeah, it's for sure the spot are secret. Yeah, I already answered to this um, question about uh, truffle oil. How does it use it? Uh, the truffle honey, same of truffle oil. Uh, you can try with, you can make uh, some truffle honey with the white truffle, but uh, the result is not uh, the, the same if you make truffle honey with the chemical aroma. Uh, truffle honey is so good. So, I, all the products, I'm sure that there are products uh, you need to use the aroma. Truffle honey is so good if you mix uh, with aged cheese. But the taste you feel is not the taste um, by, how do you say, 
it's not the taste uh, you get by the natural truffles, but it's the taste you get by the artificial aroma. And the, the best way to use uh, the truffle honey is to put on aged cheese, for example, pecorino cheese in Italy, aged pecorino cheese. So, so uh, cheese with strong taste, you put the truffle honey and it's, uh, it's very good. No, I don't have in my client a Michelin star restaurant, no. Um, so you can, uh, this is where in Italy, shall I go for a nice truffle weekend, if not Alba, you could go to Umbria, maybe Umbria is more authentic than Alba, Alba is so bad, for sure in Alba you will eat very, very good white truffle, but uh, at a very, very expensive price. In uh, Umbria, in uh, Molise, the region of Molise, uh, you will, can, you can get the same quality at very, very lower price. And I organize, uh, even uh, you can come to me because I have an agriturismo, so a place where I prepare lunches for people uh, and we are specialized on truffles. So if you write me privately, I can give uh, all the direction if you would like come to visit me. And I, even I can uh, take people to truffle hunting and uh, so all uh, stuff around the truffles. White truffles frozen in butter. Yes, please do you sell? Uh, I sell white truffles. I don't sell white truffle frozen in the butter, uh, but uh, you, I, you can buy white truffle and uh, you can make easily by yourself. Send me per email, Desibina, your actual truffle offer with the prices. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, I don't know, I'm not so expert with Zoom, so I don't know if when I end this call I will lose all the chat. So if you can, uh, um, at the end I write my email, I write my Instagram, if someone wants to uh, have information, can uh, write me a private message on Instagram or uh, an email. Osteria Barberini, perfect. Nine now, so feel free to continue answering the questions or... <laughs> okay, guys, I'm, I'm, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you now you, you know something uh, uh, more about the truffles and uh, if you are curious, if you have more questions, don't be shy. Send me a message on Instagram or email when I find my will answer. And um, so I, I write you now my email. Eccola qua. And my Instagram page is this thank you so much guys um, and uh, yeah every question you have uh, everything uh, you want to ask me about truffle because I know one hour is some is uh, not enough to explain everything make me question and then we'll be happy to answer uh, to you Okay, va bene. Thank you so much. So everyone need something, send me an email. Okay, thanks a lot. I'm very happy you enjoyed. <coughs> okay, ciao guys. Ciao. <laughs>